Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Rig Match where it's a midweek fixture we're bringing you this week as the rearranged game between Dundee United and Dunfermline Athletic at East End Park takes place under the lights. This game is due to take place on the 16th of March however due to a waterlogged pitch the game was called off late into the day. So now we're here in Dundee United travel to East End Park on a Tuesday night to try and gain further ground on Ross County. Dunfermline, however, are still looking for six wins in a row. Despite the feeling of no games in the past couple of weeks, the Fifers are still on a roll and also looking for their sixth clean sheet in a row as well. These two always serve up a tasty match and I'm sure this one will be no different. So I'll now hand you over to the match day coverage, live from East End Park. Bring on the action. So we're back at East End Park for a game that is very important and obviously this week we've got two important games but this is the first of that and we've got the score predictions in so let's see what folk had to say. Here's my prediction for the Dunfermline vs Dundee United game tonight. Obviously the Dunfermline have won their last five games so they're on form however Dundee United can't be denied their quality team so It'll be a tight game tonight, but I'm going to go for a 2-1 done firm and I'm going to just nick it. Hoping for a good game tonight. My prediction is 2-1 to Dundee United. Nicky Clark double, just to rile you boys up. I like Dunfermline, I like East End Park, and it should be a decent game. I think it'll be 2-1. Uh, we'll score first, they'll equalise for half-time, then we'll win it later on in the match. 2-1, uh, I think Clark will get a goal. Penalty. Bad guy, Penalty. 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 He's a penalty. He always scores and we all hate him. So, I'm going to make my prediction for the Dunfermline Dundee United game. I'm saying a 1-1 draw with Bruce Anderson and Nicky Clark getting on the goal sheet. Man, the pars. It's going to be a difficult game, for sure. I think Dundee United are going to come out 3-1 winners. And, of course, got to have Nicky Clark on the score sheet against us. But it's going to be a really difficult game for us, no doubt about it. But a United win. Score position time here. Uh, I'm gonna go with a one 0 Um, same as every other game. Just the one goal that's gonna nick it for us. Um, we're playing well at the back. Also, good striking form. So I'm gonna go one 0 done fair one. In terms of the like target the day, I'm gonna look at both squad sheets and whatever the highest squad number is playing in tonight's game. That's gonna be the like target. So we'll see that when we get to the stadium. Forty nine, Charlie Seaman. And number 15, sorry, number 50, Peter Pollitt. On the bench for Dungeon United this evening, sub goalkeeper 34, Ross. Dungeon United and the Fenham Athletic. Peter Pollitt. 
And that's with the first goal in what? 600 and whatever minutes. He carved us up in the mirrors. First goal, considering about 600 plus minutes. But he doesn't really win any because we've been right on top of this game. That was just a long lapse in concentration, I think. Yes, Jackson. Really well done. Bruce. Go on, Bruce. Oh, wrong choice, man, again. Oh, no. Oh. Backed himself out with Craig and snapped a shot at a very quick pace. Thought it was clever for him, if any. Oh no! Good save! Oh no! Good save! Yes, Scully! Twice in a row. Go on, Bruce! Go on! Oh, foul, 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 foul. Dangerous, they could have went anywhere. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 guilt edge there. She should have buried that. Need to be changing the second half, it's not really working out. Not much to talk about from that half of football, so here's the scores on the doors and the rest of the games taking place today. It's just the one goal separating the side to East End Park, whilst Inverness are 2-0 up in the Highlands. I'm getting word that the second half is about to commence, so I'll now hand you over back to the match day coverage. Let the action continue. James. Oh yes, good ball. Oh. So. Oh, it's just that final boy. Eh? Oh, that's a right. No, oh, you bastard! You couldn't wait. I was watching the public classes making this not off. So that's tough. Take the off for us. Faisal on. Boy, sick. One pass. Good boy. Ryan Blair off, Matty Todd on. Paul McMullen gone off. Substitution for the United, leaving the field number seven, Paul McMullen. This is like part of my season. And he's been replaced by number ten, Nicky Clark. <laughs> One after another. Good, Jackson. Oh, what? What? Fuck! Louis Longridge off, Miles Hippolyte on. Come on! One last push here. She! Oh! It's a ball! That's a ball! Come on! Scully! Scully's coming up!
Excellent! Oh! Hey! Oh! Go on! Go on! Oh! Oh! And there's your full time score. Dunfermline 0, Dundee United 1. I think it's fair to say that when I said my thing about the highest squad number being the light goal and then that turned out to be Peter Pollitt, I wasn't anticipating him being the match winner. But turns out that was how it fell. And in terms of falling, the stuff falling for us the night, that definitely didn't happen. We always tend to not really get the rub of the green against Dundee United and the record, the poor record that we have against them continues and if I'm being honest, I don't think we were horrendous tonight. I don't think we were great either. I don't think Dundee United were either. I think a draw would have been an exact fair result of the night and us pushing at the end there, I think a goal would have been a fair result to make it obviously 1-1 and... I just think it's one of those days, at the end of the day, we always seem to have them against Dundee United and it just, I don't know, it's just something that we always have had against Dundee United for the longest time. So I've only really seen one win against Dundee United and it's uh, it's no very good, but it never seems to be our day against them and that was the case once again in the day, just things no falling for us at the right time, no having the right quality at times as well and I wouldn't say United were any great shakes, but They've pulled off a win that we would have been delighted to pull off. So you've got to give them the credit where it's due. And the one time that we really had a big lapse in concentration until they scored and then they kind of were on top for a wee period in the first half. But the first real lapse in concentration and Peter Pollock cut us open. So just one of those days, I think. That's it for this video guys, cheers for watching, if you did enjoy it please give it a like, comment down below what you thought of the game, were you there, or what do you think from an outside perspective, and subscribe for more of this type of content, and until the next video, which will maybe be a preview game before the air game, if not it'll just be a vlog for the air game on Saturday morning, because I'm probably not going to get it up on the Friday night, I'll see you then, cheers guys.